Hey guys, Wraithcrew here, and welcome back to the channel. Today's full-length coaching session is a one-on-one -on -one session I had with Tragic, a longtime viewer and controller player who's recently switched from console to PC. Now, this coaching session is pretty extensive, where we cover some Horizon strats, how to win 2v3s, how to start winning fights as a team, and even lots of smaller stuff like angles, positioning, and strafe. I'd recommend watching this video several times to make sure that you understand everything, and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you enjoy the free coaching sessions and content I put out. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get in the video. No, hit you up here. You up here, Tragic. Uh, oh, there? Okay. I thought that's what you meant. No, no, no. These guys are killable. All right, this one. All right, the one. That guy's one as well. Break the ult. Oh my god, I got shit on. One for a swap. Let me shield, let me shield. Don't forget you have gold res, quick map. Taking an angle like that is very scary. I'm just I'm shooting at people over here. Just stick it, just stick it. Good nade usage. You're gonna die to zone. Yeah. Oh my god. And then we just die. Yeah, this is that a fence scared me. I think I did need to break the fence. Well, you're also right now. Uh, yeah, you can break the fence, but also honestly, I think no matter what here, you're in such a hard position. A lot. Oh, yeah. Um. When is your Watson Gen? A, a, a lot of fights like these are gonna end up being like team, like strategy based, especially because there's scrims. Uh, obviously, there's more you can eventually do. Um. Entering with yeah, Horizon. And that is what I feel like I do not have enough of an impact doing some of these yeah. fights, like for sure. Yeah, like, I know this I can fight. Do more. Yeah, this fight especially, you don't, you you don't do a lot, right? Um. Yeah. That's what you meant. No, no. These guys are killable. This horizon also does nothing. You need to be very. Uh, yeah, I know. I saw the gin and then I like. Like panic. Yeah, I, I, the I, I to put away my ult. <laughs> it's really important that when you're playing horizon, uh, your biggest counter are uh, controller characters. Well, I mean, controller not as in the role and not as the input, but as a like team composition, like like the anchor controller initiator, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Those, that's like the number one thing you yeah. have to worry about because they're the person that that's gonna stop your play. Nothing else can stop a horizon doing whatever the fuck she wants, other than like. Watson ult or like catalyst wall or shit like that because you just can't see right you always have to, especially yeah. like it's better in a large number of, of situations to use horizontal as a refrag ability or a so continued fighting ability to entry a fight with horizontal is typically really difficult i wouldn't say bad it's just difficult yeah you we know. talked about today because i was trying to yeah yeah your... You want to use it when you already have damage and stuff. Right. Yeah. If because if I mean if you're if you people if, scramble. Yeah. If you're on if you're on a horizontal and you're popping a bat, do you do you finish the bat or do you pop the or, or do you shoot the ult? Either way, you're fucked. It's a lose lose situation, right? You should. I mm -hmm. mean, you should shoot the ult every time, right? But like you're just cracked then, or you're still cracked, and then you're probably gonna die if it pulls. If actually manages to pull you in. Um. And here, especially, um, are you aware of how the wingman works on, on the lift? By the way. Yeah, you get no spread. Yeah, you have, you have right? no spread, right? You should, like, literally, yeah. especially when you have a care package weapon, your, I mean, your whole job is entry, right? You're looking to yeah. do as much damage as possible. Literally landing two wingman headshots here would set your team up for complete success here, right? But instead, yeah, you, I you, you have shot my gun. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, instead, yeah. instead, you're wasting three, you know, three, four seconds, and then, and then, and they, and they start, you know, you, you start to shoot this guy. If they were out in the open here, and, and then you queue on them, and then you're already shooting them right here, you literally, you have a, you have a potentially free kill on this guy. So you get your shots right. You have yeah. Potentially free kill on this. You literally wipe this, and then you have this space here immediately, and then you can break the fence and shit like that. It's important. I want you to always consider your maximum damage output in a fight by what you're doing. If you have an SMG here, I say, well, you have an SMG, but if you rather, if you don't have the wingman, rather, the situation becomes a little bit different. Remember that you always want to not, well, you always want to enable yourself the hardest you can. And by doing so, also disable opponents. Disabling opponents is more important. There's not really too much disabling you can do here, though, right? You just have to play well. You just have to do well. Yeah. Using, like, I don't care. Like, if you're using, like, like as entry, again, your job is, you know, to do, to do as much damage as possible, create as many openings as possible. Your initiator should be supporting you. You should be capitalizing off of your initiator. Obviously, here, you're leading the play, though, because it's a horizon queue up into the, fighting these people, right? Um, yep. A bit of a different situation. But, um... I want you to compare your relative high, your relative damage output in most of these situations, and remember, Horizon Ult mostly for refrag. You can obviously use a French, like I said, but still, it's like so literally said. having Wingman here. Or, you should have used the fuck out of it. 
That gun is absolutely insanely broken. And obviously you missed a shot, yeah. sir. It's like, it's, it's, it's like fine. Right. But this fight takes like too long. This, this fight this fight takes like three, four seconds too long. And then this guy walks inside, I think. I don't know where the where their third goes here. There was a team up on the yeah, 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 you have to play for kills, and we didn't get them. Yeah, you have to, yeah. It's sad. Your teammate has to not be dead, and you also you need to be able to hit that one guy. One's over here. I was a lit. I was a lost. Oh, it's trying to res. Got dead. Okay. Nice. Doing this. This was a triple what? console team. Oh, this is bad. You can't tell. <laughs> Three stooges. You got that right. I mean, Alright. Nice. Doing this. I thought they were rezzing. Oh, I guess they were rezzing. That's their box. Yeah, I guess they were. Oh. Yeah, the thing here especially. Doing right this. here, you hear the Sheila? You should not try to siege this by yourself. Yeah. You commit. You were going, I'm swinging this guy, and you commit to swinging this guy. Especially as entry, you are a majority of, of, of the team's fragging power. Assuming you have utility still. Swap right there. Yeah, there's also a shield. There's there's two shield swaps. There's one on the crafter and one on the one on the box probably. Oh, yeah. Um, and you just continue to white swing it. Especially dying here is really bad because I mean I'm gonna ask the magic question. Okay, we'll just. Okay, I thought that said ten teams alive. I'm like, what fucking scrims are you playing in? Eighteen. <laughs> there's there's everybody's still alive, right? Down beast is also a pretty yeah. prime location. I just we do own. get thirded here. We get thirded like a minute after we okay, leave well, that fight later. Bad team. Bad so yeah, team. I should not have died. Yeah. You should you should have died here. Dying is like the worst thing spe specifically you can do, especially. Your refrag can die and it will suck. Um, Your initiator can die and it will suck, but if you die, the team loses the majority of its power, right? You're basically the person that's, get, that's getting fucking po like Omega pocketed, right? Like if this is Overwatch, you're, yeah. you're, you're, if, if this is Overwatch, you're the person with that gets nanoed every fight, Mercy pocket, whatever, right? You're basically the same philosophy in this game. Um, you don't dying is the worst thing you could do, and I'm sure you know. I'm I'm, I'm sure you know that, but especially in in scrims and stuff like that, these stupid deaths will, are, are going to get punished by really good teams. This is a triple console. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a triple console team in a scrim. Oh, yeah. I don't this know. lobby was weird. It was um so. They were running women's cop scrim, so there was a lot of good teams, but there weren't enough to fill. So like five of these were just random the teams. People. So we didn't know if we were pushing like LG Red or a, a triple console team. So yeah, I should not have sorry, that's the Yeah. Um <laughs> Here, my mouth, you. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, fishy and uh, Ethan, alone, Ethan played pretty well. <laughs> and then this is the third, right? Yep. Yep. It's a hound so team. Yeah. One's walking up. One's trying to walk yeah, up. On the right. I thought I could eat a punch on that door. Yeah. Can, you can you walk? Can you walk? Can you walk? Or do something. Can you walk? Can you walk? Can you walk? Or do something. <laughs> um. <laughs> When you, especially positioning, here, um, one's walking up. One's trying to walk up. Try, yeah, you try, you try to punish this guy. I don't really agree with this positioning here, but I, but, but I understand that you're trying to punish them as, as they walk up. The horizon ult, always like it's, it kind of sucks, but it's hard to argue about the positioning here. Can you walk? Can you walk? Can you walk? Do something. I'm mulling it. I'm bang ulting as well. Close that door, close that door. Right, you guys sunk Bangle and Cat and Catwall for this. Yeah, this fight stalls out way too long. I think we we could like we end up like just shitting on them, but I think we could have been way shorter. They're, yeah, they're all on like this side. So we just end up. This is what happens a lot: is we end up oh, stuffed no. up in the building. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> tragic. I'm that. That's tragic. I thought that they were on the corner. Doesn't they matter. Like it's entry. It's, you're using it to entry. Don't do that. Yeah, we're just kind of running around. He's back on the roof. Is he still kicking this? It's Horizon. A 90 on her! Your angling is good there, by the way. They're taking your head on. You're at a slight angle. One dropped again. Swing this guy. Ready? No, 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 no. Yep. He's two. Oh, he's they're all out there. Fuck. Come on, come on, come here. Come here, fish. Right here. 
Ethan has a relative, relatively dumb call, but like it's. Okay. Uh, you have, well, you Ethan should not have called the swing this year. This is you're swinging blind, and you know that they were here. Especially yeah. from knowing that they were over here, you guys should be looking to do a split push. Basically, one person peeks out one door, tries to get an angle, do, does damage. It can be you. It can also be Ethan. Both of you have the ability to do this. Uh, Fishy's job is basically just to hold the hold the door, give information. Yep. Uh, obviously defending the door, like like I said, defending the door is fine. It's just that one of you, whether it be you, you need to make sure that you're not just like you guys are triple postured here. You don't want to do this. This is like the worst thing you could do. Cause if one of them is smart and they don't just sit on the yeah. door and be stupid, they actually they they actually seed you, right? They actually start to siege you as a like th this building has three doors <laughs> and catalyst can only reinforce two. Yeah. Wow! Right, like if they were that's smart. That's another thing we struggle with. I think, it, like, I needed to start explicitly saying, like, I am on an angle. Do not follow me, because I will try to hold something, and then my teammates just like follow me like little ducks. <laughs> well, so I have to tell them, go away, hold your own angle, please. Yeah, you. Uh, it should be a team conscious effort to make sure you know that you, you know the 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 triangle. Uh, your job is to yeah. be front and center. You're you're the. You don't, have, you don't have to really necessarily say, I'm going on this, don't follow me. You can literally just say things like, I'm getting an angle, or I'm trying something, and then it, and then yep. make it more explicit in the future. If, like, if I want somebody to come with me, I'll say somebody come with me. Like, I'll, like, I'll say a plan, you know? Uh, it's, it's more Ethan's job yeah. to be like, hey, we're doing this, and it's your job to be like, hey, I'm doing this, you know? Unless, you know, c yeah. commanded to do something, like swing this or whatever, right? Um, the space control is just really bad. This fighting is bad from both of you guys, both of the teams involved in this. <laughs> yeah, really, really poor performance. I gotta be honest with you. Uh, what? Yeah, basically the main goal of this is that you're trying to see is that you're trying to counter siege by getting an opening to swing on this, right? Ethan, Ethan's call here to swing this would have been fine if you had, if you had any entry. You have none though. You did you did, you did ten damage. Ethan, he, he you can't probably just... should have called to do it when I hit that that. Horizon yeah. for ninety. Yeah, exactly. All right. Uh, in this in the situation when we're in the building, basically what I would call as an IGL is, is is like a we're looking for opening damage and then capitalizing on it. Right. You want re remember the the snowball analogy that I used for the black hand. Look how to Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're, you're looking for the same thing. Your job is 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 to start the snowball. Fishy's job is to help maintain it, maintain its size, maintain you know, keep it going. Your job is to start it. Ethan's job is kind of somewhere in the middle. Ethan can also start it. It's also Ethan's job to be responsible for capitalizing on it. But uh, but it's also Ethan's Ethan's writing the instructions for building the snowball. Does that make sense? Like the mm -hmm. like the snowball yeah. schematics. Yeah. Here here's a good hill to build it on. Right here here's a good hill to start rolling it down. So when you're playing. I want you to specifically try and think of angles, like especially when when sieging. Sieging is a really. E it, I don't. I don't like to say it's easy because some people struggle with it, but it, it is genuinely when you, when you understand the game plan of how these fights break down, you can break down every pro fight, especially when it, when one team's holding a building. And the simple formula of of sieging versus counter sieging, it's like remember that it, that, that if you're being sieged, you need to counter siege. You need to counter damage. You can't just sit around. Make sure you guys aren't triple on angles, okay? It's fine, yeah. Especially if you're struggling with your with your own damage output in a lot of these fights, it's probably because you're triple stacked up. Especially, right? You're all shooting the same guy. Yeah, you're right. You do you do thirty damage. Ethan does one twenty. Fishy does like fifty. How much damage could you literally do? Twenty, right? Like or yeah. like you literally couldn't do damage. Now, the the same thing probably happens to Fishy. Same thing probably happens yeah. to Ethan. If you guys tr constantly do this, yeah. You hit something for two hundred. Like, yeah, that happens, and then we just start like someone's mental ends up crumbling because we're like oh well one of us just isn't doing enough so no you're right i didn't even think about that i'm like that is probably why like it feels like sometimes we're not holding our own weight because we're all just staring at the same thing like yeah exactly can't possibly do enough um and i mean even then the it's fine to have low damage games i mean you, i mean when we when i hit masters last season i posted a tweet being like here's how you need to gain the new rank system win games and people were like Pfft. Nah, your Katie's ass. I'm like, but look at my win game percentage. <laughs> I don't. I'm literally yeah. playing the role that is least likely to get kills. I'm ending games with three kills and like nine assists. <laughs> I don't kill people. It's I'm set up. I'm like that guy's crack. Go swing that guy. Okay, capitalize off this now. Push. Okay, we're done. Easy, right? I can IGL anybody if they fucking listen to me, right? It's that. It's that simple. Mm -hmm. Fishy doesn't. I mean, F fishy isn't the IGL, but um, with 
with Ethan being IGL, Ethan's gonna have more kills, but Fishy's probably gonna end up more in a, I wouldn't say back seat, because that kind of implies she's being carried. She, her contributions to the teams are gonna be a lot less basic, like, tangible. They're going to be... Yeah. Like, she's, subtle. Yeah. You'll, you'll, you'll notice it when it's not there. Yeah. I think. If you put somebody else on to, like, to, like, sub... Like, if this team was, like, you know, optimal, like, fucking, like, like, machined out, it would be, like, Fishy's... If you sub Fishy out for somebody else, you would get pushed by a team that would never normally push you. Right? Because Fishy yeah. would be holding we an did, angle. We, right? we, we played PSQs with Seed, and, like, we were definitely noticing getting shit on a little bit. Yeah. Um... Fishy's whole job is to control space. Fishy's only going to do 120 damage in a poking situation, but that's going to stop somebody from creeping on you or pushing on you, right? Yeah. And that and that, but Fishy might not. Fishy might do like 100 damage in a fight, and then you walk in, swing that guy, kill the next guy because you're fight basically fighting a, like a two one v ones, right? But then you'll end up with 300 damage and maybe thirst. And Fishy walks in later. Hey guys, what's up? But Fishy got the entry damage. That's way more important than just the raw bulk damage, right? That's because yeah. that, that's how you win fights. Raw bulk damage doesn't win fights. The actual opportunity for kills wins fights, right? In fact, if you're poking mm -hmm. a lot of the time, other than, you know, for a value, like, obviously, unless you're, like, trying to get armors or you're trying to die teams and you're trying to establish presence. Other than that, raw bulk damage doesn't mean shit. Unless you're just running down among the lobby. Like, everybody who's, like, you know, with 3k damage in scrims, they usually have, like, a lot of kills because they had they were in a bad situation and won through mechanics, right? So, yeah. um... Especially, make sure that your damage contributions, they don't have to be big. They obviously will be big in certain situations, but, you know, make sure that it's smart damage output and not just putting out damage, putting out damage, okay? Meaningful. Yeah. Yeah. Intentional. Like, even if Fishy survives, not having, not having the wall here for the f an actual yeah. fight is really, like, a fight or rotation, right? Especially on edge collapse here, because you guys are probably going to get thirded from this fight, I'm going to tell you right now. If you win this, you're going to get thirded, and you might get thirded a second time. Yeah, I think... They did. I think low key I could have won this fight though if I. Don't do a crack. I'll do that. Pop off a little harder. All right, it's an old. Yeah, I know. I'm doing a lot of damage here. Bang. You should. Yep. I had to kill this guy. I would. Yeah. Um. Right now. When you have the, when you're playing a two v three in any way, uh, you know the way to win, right? Um. Okay. So like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Okay. I know, but I don't know. Okay. The best way to win a two v three. Uh, when we were playing ranked the other day, or the other day, like like week and a half ago, I haven't played Apex Smile. Um. Yeah. When are you getting back on? What the heck? Probably this week. I. It's true. Yeah, I need to get on this week. I know. I know. Um, there was a situation where we were, where it was, I think it was me and Ethan two v three in that building, and I had catalyst shit, and I was playing like stalling, and then like we won the two v three somehow. I don't know how. Well, I know how, but like. Their team was bad, right? You remember that in Storm Point? Was that right? Where was it? Was it like near? Um, it was by wall? the wall. That building near. Yeah, the wall. Yeah, 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 okay, I know. Yeah, I died. There's no Moby. I was sad. Yeah, yeah, dying. yeah. Exactly. It was that. Sobbing. Uh, the whole reason we won that two v three was because I was because I I jailed it. I know Ethan's obviously the IGL, but this is a situation yeah. that. Okay, no, fun. okay. I, 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 maybe I do know what you're saying because this is something that I notice is that when Ethan is dead and it's me and Fish or me and Seed or like. Even sometimes when when it's just me and Ethan, if I micro IGL, one, I pop off and I go and I one clip seven people back to back. And like my team is actually on the same page as me and I just <laughs> go crazy. So we're, our theory is that I just need to micro more. Is if I can just spitball and still shoot my gun well, there's really no reason for me not to, as long as I'm not like I mean, let's think about it. comms and stuff. Let's think about it in a in a comp like let's talk about it in a th th theoretical situation. Who do you want okay. micro IGLing? Your fragger, right? Because that's the person setting the tempo for the team fight. That's the person that's yeah. gonna be. That's the person that has the best idea based on their positioning what to do, right? Uh, however, yep. the problem is that like, that the fragger has short sightedness because that's what their plan is. Might not be reactive. It should be, but it's hard to be so when you have that POV. The reason why I like to IGL as the person back here. Right? It's because I have a fucking view of everything, right? I'm playing a high ground, mm -hmm. and I can see when people are going this way. I can immediately go, there's a team coming this way. We need to back up now, right? Like, I have, like, a, yeah. like, like I have reins to control, right? Like, I'm pulling you back in, or I'm, like, letting you loose, or whatever, right? That's why I like to, that, that's why I like to IGL here. But, with a micro IGL, it has to be very, like, there has to be really strong communication, and most of the aspects that are going to be so is, if, the, if, if this is your normal IGL, 
this has to be somebody that's like making you know general rotation plans and, and stuff like this 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 is the person more so in like fights and this person is just straight information right the whole role of this yeah. is just straight information whoever is playing back here has to be provide value information that and this person has to listen i know that yeah, <laughs> that yeah. is asking a lot and i'm not even trying to be mean to anybody in particular this is hard to do listening to this person is harder than you think it is yeah. Even if they're your best, even if you've call, even if you're like childhood friends, in the in midst of Apex, going, this is the plan. This guy goes, there's a third team, and you, and this for this person not just go, okay, 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 okay. That, that's hard to actually swiftly like change the direction of, of of the team in you know like a nanosecond is hard. It takes yeah. really it takes it takes trust is the most important thing. Trust and the like, not just like trust between teammates, but trust in the in game execution of what we're doing, right? This person mm -hmm. obviously has to listen to this person to a degree because this because this is who sets up plays for this person especially. This this is like the G seven scout guy in the back or the thirty thirty guy in the back. I just I headshot him. You need to push off that or whatever, or you can push off that rather. Things like that. Um, but this it, there's a lot of work that needs to go into it. But especially when you're playing a like if you're playing scrims and stuff like that, like as a team, I think that's definitely the more the, the superior way to do so. But for somebody like me who plays mostly ranked, this way is a lot easier to just be like, go do this, go do this, okay, go do this, <laughs> yeah. right? Because I'm just like I'm I'm literally just doing everything right. And 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 if they pop off the micro, I'm like, go in there, go do your thing. I'm here to support you, right? I'm just letting people do whatever they want. Um, and that's why I like this a lot more. But if you're especially um here, right? The way you win a 2v3 is you have to capitalize off of any possible advantage you have. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter if it is a knock. It does not matter if it is 40 damage. It does not matter if, it, like, it doesn't really matter what it is in general. The, being down a person, mm -hmm. as I said earlier, is the worst possible disadvantage you could ever have in this game. You could have, well, I guess not having no guns maybe, but, like, being, you know, any, like, it doesn't matter if you're triple white, you can be a team with triple red. As, as long as you're three up. But being two people on blue armor versus a team on red is way harder even though you have better armors, right? It's just the, a third yeah. person adds so much, like, exponential value to a team that you need to eliminate a player as fast as possible. There's one thing here specifically where you can equalize it to a 2v2. Do you, know, do you have any idea what it is? Uh, no. Don't do a track. I'll do that. First off, <laughs> the old... <laughs> Second off, this is fine. You need to kill this guy. Like, uh, like I know you said it, yeah. but you need to send this guy and kill them as fast as possible. It does. You have an isolated one. You have an isolated two v one here. Assuming uh, Ethan can now support you, because Ethan said I don't have an angle on you. I don't know why Ethan doesn't have an angle on you right now. Ethan should absolutely have an angle on you. Um, but you should be able to send this guy, kill, kill them. And then take the positioning on the rock. So now to a disadvantage a disadvantageous two v two is better than than a well. There's no, there's no inherently balanced two v three, right? There's no like being cracked and fighting a two v two is completely possible. You can rip a one clip. I've one clip people on one HP. I'm sure you have as well. It's you you can do it. Yeah. But the two v three is way harder. Mountains harder. Com the complexity requires so much. So you have to take this fight with this bloodhound right now. You inflicted damage to the other people. Especially if you manage to to go to this guy, what you're not you're a little bit out of the like like the aim assist range. Like you need to be literally like a couple meters forward to be honest with you, or to be mm -hmm. for your especially for the strafe that this guy does, which is insanely pathetic. Right? If we're and then Ethan can also probably shoot this guy. If you it's a yeah. it's 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 a level of trust that you and Ethan need to have. And I know I, I'm not saying you don't trust each other, right? It comes down to the whole you need to trust the game plan, right? If one of you calls something, it needs to mm -hmm. happen. If you see an opportunity in any way for a potential two v three, you need to capitalize off of it because either, either it's going to be that you need to pop off it no matter what in a two v three. Doesn't matter what you need, you need to pop off. Somebody needs to pop off. Either you make a bad decision but play it well and you still win off of that, or you make a good decision and play it well and then I mean you know hey. Right. Either way, you st the only way you win that is by make is by playing well. The good decision that we're making here is by taking an isolated, you know, well, quote unquote isolated. Right. You're trying to kill one guy as fast yeah. as possible. Right. You're trying to blow that guy up. Both of you guys shoot that guy. Right. Um. It doesn't always have to be so proactive as swing them. It can always it it, it can only be punish this guy for this instead. Right. Because if if they if they get cocky and they just full swing you. Right. You could just be like, hey, you and me. 
we're gonna shoot that guy and that guy's gonna die right that guy physically can't kill me fast enough then the two of us can shoot and kill that guy as long as neither of you yeah. suck right yeah. it can be punish this guy it's just some way to equalize the field is the most important thing you could do okay make sense yep you could absolutely win this 100 percent. you actually inflicted a lot of damage here and this this damage here like you almost crack you would do like 80 to like red yeah, I think you do 80, you do 80, you, that's like 70 to one. And then, yeah, you do 80, to, you do 60 to another, right? You almost, you basically almost cracked too. If you just full send this guy, you've taken no damage at all at this point. You're on a fucking purple armor by the time this guy, is, this, this guy is like actually doing damage to you. Yeah. Just slide at this guy and kill him. And then you literally have to win a, a 1v2 against, you, or you have to win a 2v2 against two people that batted and left their teammate to die. Or you have to win a 2v2 against a team that's probably what's going to happen. They're gonna peek up because their teammates going help 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 help. Yeah, right, know. they're probably gonna peek up from the rock. You've yeah. already cracked them. Uh, you guys have a split angle on them. Really good here. Make sense? Yep. No questions. Then this is ranked. Oh, they're trying to fight us. They're trying to fight us. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Just like the day I finally got diamond. I just got stuck. I just got stuck. You got they're gonna eat me. They're gonna stuck. Eat me. <laughs> the wraith crew special. Yeah, kill this guy, you can kill this guy, you can kill this guy. Yeah. Is that a new team or is this the same guy? I'm batting, I'm batting, I'm batting. Same team, same team. Trying to shoot my knockout. I'm like wide swinging this. Yeah, just rest. Oh, he's one, he's one. You kill him. No! Okay. Uh, there's batting, one, there's batting, one batting. more mistake here, and that's just, and, that, and, that, and that's just how much damage you take. Yeah, if, you don't, if, you, if you don't take all the damage here, especially on this fight right here, you do a lot better. Your strafe here is fine. You strafe away from the wall, you don't hug the wall, right? The problem being that mm. you don't go for dodge before you go for strafe aim. You just go for raw strafe aim, and yeah. it causes you to take a lot of damage here. Especially if you're playing, I don't know what input this guy's on, but we can, but, you know, we can make a general assumption. But strafe aiming, regardless of the input, is going to make you take a lot more damage. Or it's it, the goal of it is you don't care about damage intake. This is a good one v one to take, right? But you could lose it. It's not a very it's not a very advantageous one. Your teammate, your teammates, you know you're a little bit displaced from your teammates, especially from like playing up here. I just got right? stuck. I just you got see, stuck. you you see that they're holding a different angle, and you're pretty conscious here <laughs> yeah. that you, you're you're pretty conscious here that that that, that you're taking an isolated fight, right? Stuck. They're gonna eat me. They're you gonna all, eat me. I want you to make sure, especially that you apply dodge and then go for strafe aim after you know some form of mm -hmm. dodge has been applied. Whether it be you are making him miss his bullets, right? So he has less gun in his ammo, or he has less ammo in his gun to shoot you. So you can just, you know, out, out ammo him, right? Or if you're, you know, or if the guy, or if you can get, you know, an angle on this guy with like a tap strafe or even with just a slide jump out, right? Um, yeah. When you're in a situation like this- Wait, the tap strafing is illegal. I'm on the controller. I, I, yeah, I, you know, my bad. Are you condoning that? I'm not. I'm not Can't doing anything. Yeah, you know, whatever, whatever. All right, but uh, but especially uh, you should be comfortable in a situation like this. The number one thing you could gain as a as a control player, in my experience, watching you, is just straight mobility. You play too rooted, in my opinion. You need, you need, yeah. You need to feel comfortable sliding around and like like whether it be you know with tap shifting or not. Right, it doesn't matter. The like, yeah. number thing any controller player could, feel, could get better with is just general <laughs> mobility. They act like turrets majority of the time, and they can deal a lot of damage, sure, but that doesn't separate you from everybody else. You need to take less damage as well, especially right. If you don't take the all, all, all the damage fighting this guy here, right? You don't take all this damage here. Then then when you fight this guy here, this guy doesn't kill you. And then let's say last well, scenario, let's say you get thirded, right? You get punished for the small we mistake. We do. Oh, we do. Do you win? Oh, you have got you have got We knock. do. You have got knocks. That's, really that's a little bit better. Yeah. These guys are also really bad. I don't know why. Yeah. Sometimes ranked is like interesting. Yeah. Uh, but in this situation, you either want to counter swing this guy by slide jumping the way he's going, or slide jumping you know the other way in the room. Like you can slide jump any way you want in this room. I recommend probably towards your team, not rather than diagonal at this guy, because that opens you up to this <laughs> yeah. exposure, right? But it is an option if you need to, worst case scenario, right? Um, mm. But you should slide jump, you know, o over here. It does it does open you up to the door, but especially if someone's going to come from the door here. If you kill this guy pretty quickly by, one, avoiding his damage, and two, dealing damage to him, killing him. Um, if someone peeks you on the door angle here, which is smoked anyway, but still. If this, like, like, if, like if, they, if they swing you from this doorway, you have a very... You, it's very you have a basically I wouldn't say it one way. It's a very linear angle as to how they're approaching you here, right? 
Um, yeah. Makes sense. Yep. Yeah, you're playing the one here. You need to either counter. You need. Do you need to counter swing? You do so, but but without a slide jump. You use. You counter swing like like playing Overwatch when you, in which you don't have mobility abilities, yeah. or for limited so. And then you don't you don't get the opportunity to take it on this guy. You do just, you, but you do straight fame, so you do kill this guy who can't really, you know. You mirror him, smile. <laughs> okay. And then I'm getting thirded, and I can't see because bit rate is really bad. <laughs> bit rate is horrendous. I can't see anything. I just see a smoke overlay, dude. I can't see anything. Can't see anything. I don't think I can see anything either. So it's okay. Yeah, but you're on, on the same page. Yeah, but you're at an advantage. Control blue? Yeah. But on smoke, smile. I'm coming with you, fish. Sometimes. I didn't like this catwall from Fishy at first, but if I now that I'm actually looking at it, this is actually a fucking good catwall. <laughs> yeah, I know. This is actually crazy. I, I obviously don't have a POV, but like, uh, this, this is a good. This is a really good catwall. God damn. Yeah, my good. Okay. These yeah, these guys are. These guys are. What the hell? Nice. Wall bounce. Look at what we do to this poor guy. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna tap straight sure wall bounce goo. This poor God, guy. That, that guy just got dumpstered. Was this only a duo? No, it was the trio. Someone shit Be on the Q, him. Be the Q, Yolimbo. Oh, yeah. Fish just went crazy, I think. Yeah, yeah Fish just went crazy. Okay, this. This. <laughs> I took an angle and I couldn't see that. The other two were pushing my teammates, and they didn't tell me, so I was just like hard staring at Bro's... an angle playing Overwatch. Bro wants the care package. Oh yeah, I think I said we play for a win. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you fucking greedy ass. <laughs> see, I'm playing Overwatch over here, and uh, I look over here, and I'm like, oh, that's not good. Twelve. I would. Okay, this ult's actually fine. Let's go. You threw you threw the nade too deep though. Oh, I stunned myself. What the fuck are these guys positioning? Yeah, no like, clue. Kill no this, clue. Yeah, just kill this guy. Kill this guy. <laughs> Ethan begging. He starts thinking me, please! <laughs> Why did you <laughs> <laughs> what am I Don't look at it, Ray. <laughs> Don't look at it. <laughs> this is getting screenshotted. Why are you horizon queuing <laughs> up a zip line? No, oh, I just have really good util usage. You wouldn't get it. <laughs> I wouldn't get it. I need to use it now so the enemies don't use it. I'm util watching later. your controller player horizon <laughs> queue up a zip line. <laughs> I'm here, I'm here. Tactical. I had to dodge that nade. If I took the zipline, that nade would have stunned me. Oh, so <laughs> true. The nade that you knew was there and had information on. Yep. I know. Oh, I'm omnipotent. I'm cheating. That's a new team. That's a new team. And Ethan's dead. Yeah. Um. Been depressing, I think. Because Ethan was sad. When you're taking angles over here. <laughs> Ethan just said, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um. Here. You are here when you're trying to poke this guy out. I this angle is really bad. You know why? Uh -huh. Um, is it because so my whole body, like because of my gun, the way the gun is in your hand, is that it? No, not at all. Like the right side, no, thing? no, I don't care Calibrate. about it. No, it's not. No, okay. no. Why would this guy ever peek you? Oh, that's true. I was trying to watch for my my little teammates. Yeah, but he's, teammate, but he's but he's he's gonna sit here and shoot no this point. way, right? He's gonna sit here and shoot yeah, this way, right? right? Why would this guy ever peek yeah. you? You should be holding. Because he wanted the smoke. You should, yeah. Uh -huh. You should be holding the other side of the box. Uh, not ne not necessarily yeah. watching this, but also not putting you know not not exposing yourself to the angle because it'd be stupid. But you should be holding the other side of the box or holding a more diagonal angle. The only the only time an angle like this is like this like like an angle like this gives you a defender's advantage, but you're not trying to d defend here. You're trying to well, it gives you a defender's Kill. advantage threshold, yeah, right. Yeah. You're like this is like you're like you're positioned like like they're going to swing you, but you, they're not going to swing you. And this guy even this guy I'm does positioned swing. They get the wingman. I think. <laughs> yeah, 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 I think you are. 
Uh, even if this guy does swing, he doesn't. He's not gonna swing you. He's gonna swing to the box and then come up here. Yeah. He's not gonna go that way. Uh, if this guy does somehow for some reason route to you, you are in a good position, but you can just go here later after you see him walk up, and then you can challenge him, and then you have yeah. the cover, and then he's in the open. Right. This angle isn't good to take. You want you want you always want to take a more proactive angle to cut off more. Uh, so you can deny him the peak, especially if you're holding. Um, if you're holding an angle back here. Right, you're playing like the, like the right side of this box. Let's say that your teammates have this smoked off, right? And you're playing like like right here. What what starts to happen now is that you can see this guy's peak here. He's gonna he's not gonna peak this anymore. Your teammate's gonna walk up. Your teammate's gonna hold a deeper angle on that, and this guy's gonna this guy's gonna be in the corner like this. This guy's mm -hmm. gonna be in the corner like this while your teammates have a peak like this, Be all because you held this peak right here. Yeah. Make sense. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Just be careful of when you're taking proactive peaks like this that the tighter the angle gets, the uh, harder, the more damage that's going to be inflicted, right? Because if you're holding angles like this, you are here, and the enemy is here. It's literally a line, and I say this all the time, bad players cannot move their mouse. And good players mm -hmm. will know not to move their mouse, right? So you will just, it's you can basically think of it like straight faming. It's really easy to aim. Uh the yeah. the defender out or the person out here has the advantage because they can break this peak off effectively. The person in here has the disadvantage because they can't do that. Because if they, what are they gonna do? Go this way? Oh look, I'm anti mirroring you. Yeah, yeah. You like they can't literally do anything, right? Make sense? Yep. Especially you're holding a more like right here. You're holding like like this is a better peak to hold this angle, but you're exposed to this side, right? Which is yeah. still like okay. It's not because again, if this guy wants to peek, he has to he has to swing out fully, right? And your teammate can punish him. Um, mm -hmm. But this is a better angle fundamentally because you have to see into the room. Hold on, let me this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wingman. 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 That's a big mistake here in general. Uh, your teammates do obviously ca don't calm that 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 they're being swung, but uh, but like you're also not holding a good angle yourself either. A better angle here would yeah. would like participate more in this fight, and it's like it sometimes it can literally just be as simple as that with your uh, damage output. Watching an angle. Item fifty. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, you over here you literally like, go wait, oh. Wait you, a minute. You, you, you literally climb and go oh. <laughs> right, and that and then this fight kind of with... this fight kind of devolves yeah. a lot. I don't know how the Bangalore got behind me on low ground to take the zip. I don't know either. I also don't know where Ethan dies from. Ethan says there's one in the pill, and I don't know what the hell they are talking about. In the in the in the loot pill, I guess. That's yeah, a real player. <laughs> <laughs> Misery!